Welcome to the tutorial video for how to configure Services Hub on-demand assessment for Active Directory security. In this video, you'll learn the prerequisites to setting up the assessment, the requirements for the user account you use to do the setup, step-by-step -step instructions for completing the setup, and finally, you'll see how to view and analyze the results of the assessment. If you haven't already, you'll need to install the Microsoft Monitoring Agent on your system. You can watch a short tutorial video at the link displayed here. In this video, we will learn how to set up the Active Directory Security Assessment. Once you've installed the agent, you will be able to configure the AD Security Assessment. You will need a user account, which is a domain account, with the following rights. An Enterprise Administrator, an administrator with group membership to every domain controller in the forest, membership in the local administrator group on the data collection machine, and administrative access to all the Microsoft domain name servers that the domain controllers participate with. You will also need PowerShell remoting to be enabled on all the domain controllers. Now, to begin configuring the Active Directory security on-demand assessment, you will launch a PowerShell prompt by right-clicking and choosing Run as Administrator. Before you run the commandlets for the Active Directory security assessment, you need a working directory for these assessments. You simply need a directory and the path to that directory to reference in the commands. This directory will be on the C drive with the name Assessments. Now, in the PowerShell commandlet, you enter the command as add ad security assessment. Halfway through typing the command, you can click Tab, and if you see the line autocomplete, you'll know that the agent setup module is loaded successfully. For the next input, press a space, then a dash, to bring up the working directory input. Here, input the path to your working directory in double quotes. Here, you will need to enter the enterprise admin credentials and then password, and then hit Enter. Now it's safe to close the PowerShell window. Next, we will open Task Scheduler and scroll down to Microsoft Azure Log Analytics Assessments and AD Security. Right-click and go into Properties, Triggers, and edit the schedule of this task to any point in the future to avoid conflicts. So for this example, I'll select Tuesday and click OK. Once this is done, right-click on the task and click Run. Then go into the working directory for the AD security assessment. Click on the numbered folder, and after a few minutes, several files will fill this folder. Once you see these files, go into the data model folder and make sure there are files in here. It will have information about your forest, domain controllers, and DNS servers. Once verified, go into the Logs folder and open the Discovery Trace. Scroll down to the very bottom of this file, making sure there are no errors. If the error column here is all false, that means a clean discovery and the assessment execution was successful. After three hours, go into the Azure Log Analytics portal and click on the Active Directory Security Assessment. You'll see some recommendations. Clicking on any of these recommendations will show you which servers the recommendation has affected, what is the impact on the environment by that issue, and what is the probability of this issue occurring or reoccurring, and what is the effort to mitigate that risk. This concludes the setup and configuration of the Services Hub Active Directory Security Assessment.